Yo, what's up everybody, welcome back to Tankas Club. In this video, I will be showcasing you the VK9001P, the tier 10 German American super heavy tank. So this vehicle is right now available in the store and uh, we can have it if, if I'm not mistaken for, Ooh, sheesh, look at this guys, for 54 years nearly, so that's really so expensive. And uh, it's really so expensive for this vehicle. I would not suggest you to buy it right now in the store. But for all of you which are still interested to get it or which have already this vehicle, I would like to show you in this video how to drive this German super heavy beast and what can we perform with it on the battlefield. First, let's have a look at the equipment, provisions, and consumables that I'm using. Uh, so to the equipment, I'm going for calibrated shells. Go for that. In my opinion, this tank needs a player who is really pretty calm and uh, which not play this tank really very aggressive. This tank needs really to stay calm. Use your um, yeah very good frontal armor to side scrape or uh, I don't know. Hull down is not very good for this tank because we don't have a good gun depression but it needs really to stay calm you are not going to be the one to do a lot of damage but more the one to distract the enemy to block a lot of damage for your teammates so we don't need to play that aggressive otherwise um, if you go for example for the gun drama you will have really less chance to penetrate heavy tanks and you're going to go heavy tank with this tank because it's heavy tank so go definitely for calibrated shells and with that you would have 336 uh, millimeter of penetration super charger go definitely for the refined gun because the gun dispersion of the tank is not the best so that will help you uh, to have better accuracy go for the defense system we are anyway not going to be able to pen um, anyone with this tank because it's it's also a, doesn't have a good um damage by ramming so go definitely for defense system enhanced armor of course will help you uh toolbox but i think it's better to go for the enhanced tracks improved optics engine accelerator to have a better speed and the high-end consumables to have a longer adrenaline i'm using as you can see there two repair kits adrenaline for the provisions i'm going for chocolate improved fuel and enhanced sandbag armor to have more hit points so um, this tank with this legendary camouflage will be called uh, yeah VK9001 blade and let's have a look now at the abilities of this tank so we have 2.6 nearly 6 of hit points uh, we can deal um, a good alpha damage we have 460 damage per shot we got also if we are using calibrated shells, we have um, yeah something about I don't know 11.4 seconds of reload time and uh, what else? Yes, 11.4. So with um, calibrated shells, we will have 336 uh, millimeter of penetration with premium shells that will do the job. Uh, penetrating uh, heavy tanks and something like the act panzer uh, the act panzer so definitely you need to go for the calibrated shells otherwise you will have really uh, penetration issues especially against uh, super heavy tanks um yeah so the gun depression you get here 10 degrees of gun depression sounds good but still not perfect because this tank just have a strange high armor profile you will not be able to do really good shots if you are on summit of hills or if you are in hull down position but we still have a good gun depression i suggest you here with this vehicle to go really on flat ground and uh, use side scraping to block some damage so yeah guys for that sweet that's it what we have here all on paper let's have a look on the armor profile of this vehicle and then jump directly straight to the battlefield to show you what can we perform with this vehicle so this is how our armor gonna look like for a type 71 the japanese tier 10 heavy tank so it's nearly all red but we have this weak spot on the lower plate and this two weak spot here and uh, the weak spot on the cupola so without enhanced armor with enhanced armor we can still see 
a small difference and um, that's why i suggest you definitely to go for enhanced armor that will maximize your armor and you will have a higher chance to uh, bounce more damage so um try to use side scraping hide this part here behind uh, in front of the building or try to go in a hold up position to hide this and with that we will have really a pretty strong armor by the way right now the type 71 is using heat shell without heat shell without premium shells it will look like this frame so we have really a crazy crazy strong frontal armor uh exception of this lower plate so if you are standing in front of td let's take for example the hori with an insane penetration it will still look like this even against a hori a tier 10 td so we are really pretty strong and you have a strong frontal armor all you have to do is think about to somehow hide this user obstacles or your self scraping or go for a hold down position so if the Hori use premium shells, well, this is gonna be not very easy for us because uh, yeah, they will pin us. So be aware of tier 10 TDs um, if they are using, uh, of course, premium shells. The rest of the tanks, tier 9 tanks, all of them actually, we are pretty safe against them. Even for example, uh, the Hori type 2, a tier 9 TD, if he is using premium shells, he will still uh struggle a lot to penetrate our frontal armor we don't need to talk about mediums and other heavies so be aware just especially um of tier 10 tds because they will be able to penetrate our frontal hull heel and the turret if they are using premium shells of course don't expose your sight and your bag is also easy penable to the play style with this vehicle, I will try to uh, yeah, show you how to drive this vehicle in this battle in Rockfield. So uh, I'm going here right now, heavy side, with my tank, and I will just use this position right now in a kind of summit of hill to snipe firstly some sniper shots from distance, and then I will have here this annoying IS-5 who, who is going to stay a lot in this position but uh, yeah I will use this rock in front of me right there to do some side scraping and that will help me to block a lot of damage and yeah without risking a lot so we have to play really very patient with this vehicle don't let's say uh, rush stupidly on the enemy uh, we, we need to play calm to stay calm and as you saw um, we have to be careful not exposing our side to the enemy here, you know, another uh, VK9001, not exposing your side like the VK of the enemy team, because you will be directly punished for that, so be patient, um, we saw with the armor inspector our strength, the frontal armor, try to hide somehow that lower plate using side scraping or hold up position like this, like I'm doing right now, and sneak your shots. And that's it so we're going to support a lot our team we must and have to go frontline with this vehicle but of course as i told you show only your front line to the enemy and keep distance from uh yeah tds also keep distance from uh, mediums and light tanks because they will easily surround you and also will be able to finish you very fast here we go i'm side using some side scraping right now and with that i blocked that shot from the i7 now i kept pushing on him give him a shot roll back and use the next rock to hide somehow my lower plate and it works or just wiggle your tank uh left right and with that that will make it hard to the enemy to yeah penetrate you so i will try to use it again somehow anyway i wanted to side scrape behind that building but that was enough to uh, block the damage only by uh, angling my vehicle in front of the IS-7. So, so far so good, we got here only the Yak Tiger, of course in this battle we got a good team, so it's not always like this, but uh, yeah, I picked up for you this battle to showcase you how really we should play with this vehicle, and uh, yeah, that's really somehow the best way how to play with it, um, yeah, go frontline, 
but also keep your distance uh, especially to the mediums and uh, to the TDs I saw that the Akitaika was there it wasn't aiming on me so I used my chance to fire him from distance so yeah that's it for this video guys I really didn't have the time to record a lot this time I don't have a second battle for you for this video but I hope you still enjoyed watching this video I hope I could help you with it so if yes don't forget to smash the like button subscribe to the channel for more content and see you soon in the next video guys bye bye <laughs>